Hey, how you going? Welcome to today's foundational strength workout. Let's lay down and warm up our bits and bobs. <laughs> All right. So laying down with your neck and spine straight, feet and knees hip width apart and arms relaxed down by your sides. Gonna start with some beautiful relaxing breaths. Inhale, expand, belly, rib cage, whatever feels good for you and exhale. Just let your body sink down into the ground. Inhale and expand. Nice deep breath and exhale. Let it out and sink down into the ground and just prepare yourself for what you're gonna to give to your body through this exercise. Inhale, expand and this time with your exhale you're gonna add in a firm squeeze and lift up to your navel with your pelvic floor muscles. Nice and firm grip. Release down as you inhale. And exhale. We're going to be an octopus. And suck those pelvic floor muscles up. Shoulders stay relaxed. And release down as you inhale. Checking that your glutes, legs are all relaxed as well. And exhale, close the elevator doors, go up the lift, nice and strong, and release down with your breath. We're going to add in a transverse ab, another deep core muscle, so thumbs above your hip bones, fingers down inside your hips. Expand again with your breath. This time as you exhale, gently lift pelvic floor and gently activate transverse Squeezing hip bones together, shoulders stay relaxed. Going with your natural breath flow, release and inhale. And exhale, gentle lift and draw down. So really gently, low neck line. We're here for 20, so get comfortable and get used to this activation. And release, gentle pelvic floor, gentle transverse. So this hand of mine is checking that my six pack, my rectus abdominis is soft, and that the obliques on the upper part of my hips are staying soft throughout the whole lot. Transverse lies underneath your six pack and obliques, so you have to do really gentle, otherwise they're gonna try and help. We're gonna work in with your breath to release and activate your deep core. Co-contracting pelvic floor and transverse together. Enjoy the movement of your diaphragm expanding as you inhale. And then it's going to release down as you exhale. And then your deep low down here, your transverse, is squeezing in gently. 5% activation to release again. Good job. You can be doing 20 of these transverse activators every day to help strengthen your deep core. We've got five more. Shoulders stay relaxed. It's so good to take time out on your own, really quiet so you can focus on this exercise. I can feel my hip bones gently pulling together. I've got one more breath. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna add in a draw and engage exercise where we pull our whole stomach muscles in together. So same as the inhale, expand out. But this time when we exhale, we're gonna push the air out of our lungs. And if this was my core and my hands were here, like a hamburger, as you exhale, you're gonna draw belly button to spine and draw your whole core down. So it's not a clench push out, my diaphragm's gonna, as I push my air out, diaphragm's gonna lower to help draw the air out, and my belly button's got like Papa Smurf pulling it down, 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 down. Pelvic floor and transverse are coming in to help, and we're gonna hold for up to 10 seconds. If you feel your back, your legs or glutes or shoulders or jaw helping, then just relax. It means that you've gone a little bit too hard. We're just gonna do 10 of these. So big breath, expand, and then exit and holding down there. So I'm checking. 
Core is switched on. Lower core is firmer than upper core. Three, two, one. Release. And draw down. Beautiful. Shoulders stay relaxed. Two, one, and release. Push out nice and relaxed. Exhale, draw down. Three, two, one, release. Good job, draw down. You need to be able to lift your pelvic floor first when you start. You don't have to be able to hold it the whole time. And release. And relax, draw down. Good job. Checking in the cheeky pelvic floor lift. And release. And draw down. Good job. And any of these core exercises, so I'm breathing by the way. You're gonna breathe while your tummy's drawn down. And release, we've got two more. And draw down. Yeah, if you can't lift your pelvic floor through any of the core exercises, it means that you've pushed them out and you're clenching. So you just relax and check in and start again. Release, we've got one more. Draw down. Good job. Breathing through, keeping your core drawn in. And release. Gorgeous. Stretch out. Pull hips and rib cage away from each other. All right, we're going to add in some booty now. Strong booty supports our pelvic floor. We're going to do a glute bridge pulse. So feet and knees are hip width apart. I'm going to push up slightly heavier through my glutes. Squeezing here, one pulse and down. Lift through your hips. Come up, pulse and down. Gorgeous. Keep your knees hip width apart. So you're not letting them rock in or out. We're trying to keep a nice streamline. Good, lifting through your hips, not your ribs. Your lower back will feel it if you start lifting, lifting through your ribs. One more. Pulse, squeeze, and we're down. All right, now I'm gonna do a pelvic floor transverse lower leg alternator. So here I am, hip width apart. Exhale, switch on pelvic floor transverse. It's my dog saying hello to the neighbors. Lowering this knee, keeping this one still and my hips level. Bring it back in. Five on each side. Rib cage stays lowered and relaxed. Keep breathing while your transverse is keeping your hips level. You're gonna stop and reconnect as often as you need to. Transverse can get really tired and that's when your hips start to wobble. Every time I come back, I release pelvic floor and then I'm lifting them up again. This is the last one on this side. Awesome, change sides. Reset, beautiful breath. And lowering, squeezing them back together. Shoulders stay relaxed. And it's really common for one side to be easier than the other and for the other one to be a bit more challenging. Go with your breath. Go with your timing. I've got one more. Beautiful. Squeeze back in. All right. Now we're going on to core hard out. Belly drawn in. Just gently with your transverse. And then from, I've lift my toes up, I'm gonna rotate down and bring that back and keep my hips level this whole time. Same leg. Transverse is working the whole time. We're doing 10 on this side. You're gonna stop and reset your transverse as often as you need to. Keeping on breathing. Remember to draw belly down, not clench and push out. Awesome. Good work, we've got two more. Keep breathing. Keep that arch in your back. Last one here. All right. I'm going to reset and do the other side. 
So I'm kind of like scooping my foot over a mound of dirt. You'll notice as your leg goes straighter, it's harder to keep your hips level and you've got to work harder. Gently checking in on your pelvic floor. Shoulders relaxed, deep breathing. Good job. Awesome, two more. All right, got one more round of those. I'm just gonna stretch out because this whole bit's on our back. Now we've got glute bridge pulse again. So checking feet, knees, hip width apart. I'm gonna push through a little bit more on my heels, but my whole foot is flat on the ground. Giving it one pulse at the top. Good, remember to lead through your hips, not through your rib cage. Squeeze that booty, man. Pulsey, pulsey at the top. Squeeze, squeeze. See if you can crack a nut. Two more. Maybe start with some grapes. Squeeze the grapes, make some wine. <laughs> All right, down for those alternating leg lowers, abductors, lower. Draw it back in. So you're using your inner thigh to draw your back, your leg back in. If leaking is an issue with your pelvic floor, then inner thigh strength helps to support there. One more. Keep on breathing. Good. Change sides. Transverse is on. It's your tummy that is keeping your hips level. So good to help with balance as well. Good, take your time. Be really controlled. Check that your shoulders are relaxed, jaws clenched. Draw it in. Good breath work, last one. Awesome. All right, let's do our core again. Scooping over the dirt and back. Good, shoulders relaxed. Aiming here to keep your six pack and obliques soft. As your transverse gets stronger and your endurance builds up, your coordination, that gets easier and easier to do. Big key here, keep breathing. Keeping the foot that stays on the ground nice and light. Got two more. Good, last one. Awesome, change sides. As you put this foot down, try to not let your hips move. Beautiful challenge. Here we go. Such a good way to peel back from life and slowly move your body in such an intentional, functional way. You're working really hard if you're doing it right. I tell you, I'm doing lots of concentrating. <laughs> Last two. Keep those hips still. Awesome. All right, stretching out. Now we get to get off our back. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go into a four point hold. So I've got hands below shoulders. I'm gonna take my knees back from my hips a little bit, but if you're just starting out, you can keep your hips below your knees, your knees below your hips. Um, pelvis is tilted in, I'm leaning over here, draw belly to spine, and we're gonna hold here for 10 seconds. Keep breathing. You don't want any doming here, so belly's drawn up to spine from your lower core. All right, stretch back, open up through your pelvis, then we're gonna go again for two more turns. Coming in. Transverse drawn in, slight tilt force in your pelvis. Strong shoulders, but booty's relaxed. Awesome, release back. Sticking out your booty. And then you're gonna come back again. Transverse is on, leaning weight over. Long, strong shoulders. If you've got problems with your wrist, you're welcome to go into a fist. And stretch back. Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna do your um, booties in a different way. So something we do, I'm really into functional exercise, something we do all the time is we get up and down off a chair. So this is called a squat sit to stand. So you're gonna find somewhere um, to sit, check that your knees when you're sitting are not in front of your toes, and you're literally gonna stand and sit down. 
Okay, so we're going to do 10 of these. So I'm using my core. I'm not putting my hands on my legs. I saw that. And you're using your amazingly strong body to get up and down off the chair. Working that strong upper back to have gorgeous posture looking forward. Two more. Flat feet with this little bit more pressure into your um, booty, your glutes, your heels. All right, done. Now we're onto bicycles, so we are back down on our back. All right, a bit more of an extension to the leg throw that we did. So we're gonna come up, cycle all the way through and bring our foot back. So a little bit bigger than what we did before. The foot that's grounded is really soft. Keep that foot flat and the heel facing the wall the whole time. Awesome. Last one. Hips stay level and we'll change sides. So my foot's not on the ground, it's hovering just above it. Techniques picked up from the first mould of dirt we were going over. Let's see how I'm scraping it up above the ground. Hips stay level. Lightweight on the grounded foot. One more. Awesome. All right. One more round. So we've got four point prone hold. Leaning over, weights forward, transverse on, pelvis slightly tilted in. Strong, straight neck out of your spine. Fingers spread really wide. And we're going to stretch back. We're going again. Pelvis tilted in. Just do a cheeky little check of your pelvic floor. Like a little pulse up and then release. So you just want to check that the girls are still working down there. And then reach back, stretch. And we've got one more. Leaning over. Transverse on. Because you've nailed working a transverse while you're laying on your back, we can flip over and nail it on the front like this. Next step after that is doing press-ups. Woo, okay. Sit, stand. Always check first what you're sitting on, that it's there and it's stable, and then off we go. So I'm lifting my feet up off the ground to make it a little bit harder. If you cannot do this without lifting your pelvic floor, You've got to get stronger. You have to do your exercises because the fact is, is you get up and down off the chair or your couch all the time. One more. So this is just an exercise making you stronger inside the movement you're already doing. All right, we're going to finish off with the bicycles. Shoulders back relaxed. Transverse on and bicycles have started all the way down. Focus more on transverse. Beautiful. Remember to stop and reset as often as you need to. Good job, one more here. Keep your hips level as you change sides, reset. Awesome, we're nearly finished. Breathe through. Try to be really intentional with every exercise you do and not, you know how you can rush through the last few just to get them done. We're going to work hard the whole time. Awesome. Last one here. Stretch your arms and your legs away from each other. Pull your hips and ribs away. Well done. Thank you for joining me. Stretch and breathe. You've just done so well. I'm just going to give you some rotating lower back exercise movements. Now I want you to listen to your body and go with what feels good. Breathe. You only take this leg down as far as what feels good and comfortable for you. We've been on our back a lot. Stretching out your lower back. I'm going to change sides. Gently rotating, keep both shoulders on the ground. The last one here is just going to rest. 
Keep this on the ground. Open up your chest out wide and breathe. Amazing. How gorgeous is that? Wow, thank you for joining me. I had heaps of fun. I'm feeling strong. Hope you are too. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.